whoa, whoa. Before this video even begins, I notice most of my viewers aren't even subscribed. So what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos, and also smash the like button for good measure. Anyway, enjoy the video. This next country has finally made its mind up. But will it be a case of all shining the light together, much like the light I've got in my face? Or is it a case of just a load of embers? Let's find out together. Roll them titles! <laughs> Good afternoon, evening, everybody. I am Jamie Jew. Welcome back to a brand new video where, once again, I react to another entry in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. And finally, 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 after weeks and weeks and weeks of waiting, we are about to reveal the next country's song, which, of course, I will admit, kind of got a little bit leaked. Uh, but nevertheless, it is time for effectively the proper host country to delve its Eurovision entry to the world, never mind Europe. It is, of course, the United Kingdom. This time around, it is the turn of May Muller, a up-and-coming act, I bodes well, with the song, I wrote a song. Now, of course, me being British, and of course, kind of looking forward to the British entry, of course, I'm going to be, like, slightly hesitant and me being slightly cynical, especially given our recent history. I'm kind of preparing maybe for the worst, but given what happened last year, I'm also kind of hoping for the best. Uh, tough act to follow as far as last year is concerned, and I will admit, as far as the disclaimer is concerned, I've heard it at least once. And that was from the reveal this morning, but that's about it. Otherwise, we are now diving into the official music video and perform- well, I mean, it's a, it's a recording song of, of course, The United Kingdom. Ooh, Ooh bass for impact. And, and then some. Oh, there you go. Oh, very 90s font there. Which oh, is in a home. Oh, bit uh, Building up big. Uh, what's this all about? Boppy already. Those are some nails and a half, and I thought Loreen had some nails. Oh yeah, by the way, this is about sort of women's empowerment over a cheating man. That's a very old-fashioned car. Mm. Okay, I like the bass. Is it just me, or she looks like somebody I know? Oh no, I know who she looks like, but I'll say all later. Okay, bit boppy. Boom, ba -da -ba -doom, ba -da -ba. I mean, it's the very samey beat from previous times. Ba -dum -ba -boom, ba -dum -ba -boom. But countercut works well if you do it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some da 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 days. Surely, maybe not la la las. I don't know. But I like the beat. I do like the beat. I'm not going to lie. They have done the beat extremely well. It's very British. Come on. But it's interesting that they keep it throughout it. But there you go. Oh, you know what? I like the way it fills up with the, of course, with the lyrics and everything. I do like the lyrics, I'm not going to lie, in regards to that. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but it does on this occasion. Uh, okay. You know what? I quite... This is alright. I don't want to get too excited. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Initially, I was a bit skeptical. But oh, this is actually quite likeable. I think it is, anyway. Not amazing, but likeable. Oh, well, there we go. What's she doing now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the British accent. Ooh, that's slightly cringy. But that might work. Fair enough. Uh, uh, oh, back to the beat. I don't know. I think they maybe could have done a. Oh, would you call it again? Uh, you know, change that beat up a bit. Okay! Not bad whatsoever. It deserves a little clap, I think. Ooh. All right, uh, I'm going to have another few listens to it. But in the meantime, here is, of course, my thoughts to the UK entry. By the lyrics of the United Kingdom's entry, I wrote a song, of course. Uh, it goes like this. When you said you were leaving to work on your mental health, you didn't mention the cheating. You kept that one to yourself. I got so mad, was going to cuss you outside, outside your house. For everyone to see, wanted to trash your bends, tell all your friends how cool you were to me. Instead, I wrote a song about how you did me wrong. I could have cried at home and spent the night alone. Instead, I wrote a song. I feel much better now. Me and my girls are out and we all sing along. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
Okay, so let's just get the main bit out of the way. Uh, the fact that the lyrics are, of course, about effectively women and power women, but mostly, I mean, they're just Taylor Swift, aren't they? <laughs> Actually, just for a minute, imagine Taylor Swift writing songs like that, but in a boppy sort of way. Oh, wait. Anyway, as far as this particular song is concerned, it can, itself is concerned, overall, before I delve into it any further, I quite like it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go overboard. It's not. I don't say it's going to win. It's not going to win. It is a likeable song. Uh, as far as the ears is concerned, the voice is nice in it. She doesn't have to do too much and everything else like that for the song itself to vocally that is. I heard that she can do well in live performances and she has got a good voice. Some are saying not so much, but there you go. It is what it is. I, I haven't heard a live performance, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but as far as this particular song itself is concerned, it plays to her vocal strengths. So that's the main thing. The beat, God almighty, that's British, isn't it? Not? And it's very likeable. I think it's quite nice. If you took away some of the other songs that were sort of rumoured to be the UK entry, this on its own is nice. Not quite a 69 nice or anything else like that, but the beat itself goes boom, bugger, boom, bugger, boom, but in the sort of fastness kind of beat, it's not quite 120, it's more like sort of 140 ish kind of thing. So boom, bugger, boom, bugger, boom. So it's a that, so it kind of gets you going, goes a little, you know, a bit on the dance floor and everything else like that. And in fact, the final bit was sort of like, everyone goes, it's stuff you would have heard before, don't get me wrong, but the quality wise, they have done a good job in bringing out the best of it. Now, onto the slightly negative things. So the critiques in question are the da da da's. I think you should have just gone with the dance beat. Or at least done some sort of dancing thing, if you if you ask me, in regards to that. But rather than go da da da, maybe instead of da da da, I would say la la la, la 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 la. That's an easy one, isn't it, to do la la la? And that British accent in the bridge. <laughs> I mean, that's just cringy. It's iconic in a way because it is a kind of British thing to have that sort of accent, uh, especially from her. But that being said. I don't know, just found it for me, being British myself is a bit cringy from home, but hey, it might be like a for some other people. Other than that, I would say it could do well, it has the potential, it'll just come down to staging and indeed her presence on the night, and indeed to a good running order <laughs> for that matter. Otherwise, I don't see this coming last. At the very least, I don't see this coming last. Jury friendly for sure, and indeed very radio friendly, come to think of it. Will the televoters go for it? It will depend on the night. Otherwise, all right, not bad at all. Anyway, that about it is for this particular video of the United Kingdom's reaction. For me, of course. But never mind what I think. Please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you see the UK as absolutely euphoric, bamboostically boppy boopy da ba da that's actually going to win the whole thing and bring about the sixth victory? Or is it perhaps a bit too boppy for you and you see another nil point? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, you know the drill by now. Subscribe for more of my overshoot juicy goodness. Smash the like button for good measure. And of course, we're about to get out of it about my latest videos. Catch you again in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.